Hello, everyone. I'm Caroline Krokel Henny, and I'm the Executive Director of the Cooperative Extension System and the Extension Committee on Organization and Policy. It's a pleasure to participate in the National Cooperative Soil Survey Annual Conference this year and to provide you with a brief overview of the history of the Cooperative Extension System and give you a little snapshot of where we are today. In over a century since its creation, the nationwide Cooperative Extension Systems Educational and Outreach Network has made significant contributions to American agriculture, communities, and quality of life. The Smith-Lever Act of 1914 established a system of cooperative extension services connected to land-grant colleges and universities in order to inform people about current research developments in agriculture, home and family life, public policy and government, economic development, and 4-H. This legislation helped farmers and rural families learn new agricultural techniques, food preservation, and economics by the introduction of home instruction and demonstrations. More than four decades ago, the National Agricultural Research, Education, and Teaching Policy Act of 1977 augmented the cooperative extension system to include historically black colleges and universities and to serve as never before historically underserved audiences. More than a quarter of a century ago, Congress passed a law in 1994 to add tribal colleges and universities to the cooperative extension system to reach communities of original North American land descent. President Jimmy Carter said, to live as a productive citizen, the extension service had a major beneficial effect on me. Today, extension plays a significant role in non-formal educational outreach across the nation and beyond in rural, urban, and suburban settings. With its unprecedented reach, an office in or near most of the nation's 3,000 plus counties, extension agents and educators help farmers and ranchers achieve greater success, assist families with nutrition and healthy living, and prepare today's youth to become the leaders of tomorrow. Through a strong partnership with USDA and federal, state, and local funding, this vast public-private partnership enhances the reach, diversity, equity, and inclusion of this extensive network of outreach education and engagement, serving as a trusted resource for youth, families, farms, and communities. Land-grant university system map shown here the original 1862 legislation provided funding. 1890 legislation provided additional funding for historically black universities. And as you can see, the 1994 universities are the native colleges and universities that are represented in the system. This presence is across the United States and in all the US territories. Today, traditional extension activities such as Livestock and cooking are still a part of 4 H youth development programs, but so are aerospace, robotics, geospatial technologies, computer science, and multimedia, nutrition, health, and safety, citizenship and community service, leadership and public speaking. And today, extension programs still promote healthy lifestyles and families through food safety as well as health and nutrition, especially focused on limited resource audiences or those with chronic illnesses, money management techniques, relationship and parenting skills, 4-H positive youth development, successful aging education, and childcare provider training. Extension agents and educators today are still helping to build and revitalize our economy and communities with programs that help businesses grow, encourage entrepreneurship, help communities identify marketable resources. And today extension programs are vital to current events, rural and urban agriculture, diversity, equity, and inclusion, health, and we're currently in a wonderful partnership with the CDC around vaccination outreach, 
economic and workforce development, climate, broadband access and digital skills, and of course, positive youth development. Also today, extension agriculture programs remain critical to states' economies, managing farm financial risks, dealing with droughts and disasters, promoting integrated pest management, promoting water conservation and soil health, which is what you are all interested in, supporting urban and rural agriculture, advancing economic and workforce development. So this vast system of non-formal educational outreach meets the needs of people and communities where they are. The cooperative extension system of tomorrow will continue to respond and adapt to an ever-changing technological, environmental, and community landscape to bring the latest science-based information and outreach education to people across this nation and beyond. We encourage you in your work to contact us, to seek out partnerships with ECOP, and really look at how we can help you to elevate the work that you do. Thank you so much. Have a great day.